Good Sunday morning, and welcome to Ice Age TV, the internal combustion engine age YouTube channel that talks about all my cars and trucks and motorcycles, SUVs, the antics, and just good golly, good golly, how do how do I even how do I even handle it? Oh my! Hey, good Sunday morning there. It's the Sunday morning car meet, Sunday morning brief conversation for those who watch my channel, and you know what? It's cold. It's cool. It's chilly. It's overcast. It's, it's just. I thought today would be a beautiful sunny day for the big car show, but you know what? Not so much. Actually, uh, it's a chilly day, and I think there'll still be a respectful amount of people going to the car show, but at the same time, um, it's chilly. So, for those watching my channel, as always, thanks so much for subscribing. Thanks so much for watching me gab away, and thanks so much for keeping the entertainment going because a lot of you are funny. Uh, I think Don, so Don and Jenny, they just picked up a nice uh, Cherokee Jeep, and apparently he watched my channel and got an idea of a two-for-one as well. So congratulations there, Don and Jenny, on your nice new Jeep Cherokee. Silver, good-looking car, and uh, I've had those. They're really good cars. They really are. And so here we are trying to avoid the bird crap situation. If you're watching my channel, it's beyond believable of what I've gone through to try to keep the bird situation under control. But yeah, right. Have I gone to the birds? I think my new name is Birdman. Look at this right here. Look, look. I'm, I'm trying to park the vehicle out of the path. Forget it. These guys are intruding in my barn everywhere. The, the cupola that's probably going to fall off the barn one day up there. There goes a guy. Front of the barn, back of the barn, side of the barn. Forget it. It's roosting time. It's nesting time. And it's just that time of year where all the birds want to go have little babies. And, uh, and they bring all their crap with them. So it's just, just nothing new, really. But I was only hoping a smoker this year would kind of control it a little better. But you know what I thought this morning is, and see here, look, already top of the truck. Look, so this truck came home with, well, the truck came home with birds. Yeah, if you're watching my channel. So look at that. See, see how you fly in? They fly in. I tried to fix that soffit up there last night. Which I did a little bit, but I told the daughter, say they're just gonna fly inside the bird and they're just gonna fly inside this way now. It'll just be the never ending challenge. But yeah, so the bird, the daughter cleaned up the car. Looks like they got another uh, another big old bird poo. Just, you know, forget it. Uh, it's just clean, bring a tile. But there's what I was thinking this morning is look at the difference in the model years of these trucks. It's just incredible how uh, for Ford. For, you know, for Ford to change out their trucks. I think Ford is the most aggressive manufacturer that seems to just to update their trucks on a consistent basis. Because even for me, just trying to think right now, I think this is a 21 Ford truck, I think. I can't keep track, man. Just too much stuff. But if you look at the, the difference, and keep in mind, that's a Super Duty, and this is not a Super Duty. But if you just look at the... Uh, the difference of these two trucks, it's it's huge. It's huge on how much different for this 2023 model year truck um, is different. Even the point that you go over to my Ford Super Duty over here and just see the body lines and see how they updated. In 23, they did a refresh, and it's a different vehicle on how they cleaned up the, uh, the lines on the truck. It's just incredible. And what they've done. And then we go to the interior. And once again, I was just thinking to myself this morning, yeah, it'd be kind of cool to uh, just to show the differences of these two trucks. And uh, and that's what I think would be kind of neat as they get the keys for the trucks as they come in here to the barn. Oh my goodness gracious. And if you watch my channel, yeah, to do what I did yesterday, it's just incredible what I did. And, and the thing is, I don't know. You know, the, the other deal is kind of still pending because it's always challenging with Ford Motor Credit where they're not really excited about the Iceman buying something all the time and they kind of put a limit on what I can buy and can't. And then it takes special phone calls, yeah, it takes special phone calls to Ford Credit to uh, overcome the, the Iceman can't have another, uh, another vehicle. And that's what goes on. So if those who watch my channel, that other deal wasn't approved and then it turns into one of my good friends there has to uh get that overridden where the kid put the other i mean it just doesn't end i don't know where the other key is for their truck it's probably in the truck i mean i'm sincere kid probably left in the truck 
I have no idea. But anyways, so, you know, it's just crazy in how I was going to trade the Tremor for the, uh, for this here, the Ford F-250, but at the last second, I changed my mind, and I just came to closure. I'm just going to get rid of the Raptor, and let's see if I'm right or wrong. No, so I can't get into it. Yeah, it just doesn't end, you guys. Is this just aggravating? I mean, <laughs> right, does anybody have, you know, you have a kid, you have kids, do you know you go, I mean, oh my gosh, it, it just, it's so, it's so just aggravating, because they just, it's probably right here in front of me, but I can't find them. So, uh, and I'm just wasting time now with my channel of just, you know, total, total loss of time. So, this in here, I don't know, I can't keep track. Is that it? Now you can see, here's a key, I don't even know what it goes to. Look at this. So here's a key. I have no idea what Ford V. Have a key right here? I have no. Oh, it's the Ford F450. Ha ha ha! Is it just. Oh my gosh. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, so I had a great idea this morning to just show you differences in the trucks. Obviously, that's not going to work out. Because my kid washed the truck last night and she's put the key somewhere where I have no idea where she put the key. Huh. So. Oh, well, there it is, and, uh, huh, just, yeah, unbelievable. And, you know, can I remotely open it? I don't know. Let me see. Let me see if I can remotely open this truck as I bore you with my morning conversation. That's totally, um, gone null on us, right? As I've run out of content to talk to you because I'm in the constant challenge of life, of uh, trying to figure out <laughs> what is what in my own driveway. And uh, so I don't even know. Here it is. So look here. Can I do it? Can I unlock the truck remotely? And I think I just did it. But let's see. As you sit here and watch my channel and think, yawn. Did it open? I don't know. Let's see the birds. See, look at that. Look, look, look. He still climbed in. <laughs> there it is. There it is. Hey, miracle. Miracle. Key's probably inside here. So, here's this truck. I wonder who drove it last, right? Look how close. But look at this truck here. Look at the interior. Now, keep in mind, this isn't the highest grade. This is the XLT package. But if you just look at the, uh, the you know, you look at the, the steering wheel... You look at the, uh, just the instrumentation, the layout, and then you come over here and you look at this truck and look at this here. Look how, look how massively different this truck is. I mean, look at this. I mean, does this truck just look big? I mean, does this thing just look, I mean, oh my gosh, it's incredible the difference of these trucks. And yet in so many ways, it's the same truck being that. It's the same body lines and all other stuff, but it's not. <laughs> so look at the front end. And this is why these trucks, so you get people now, a lot of people are upset. And some people on my channel, they even like, you know, you support these very expensive vehicles. Well, <laughs> these, these Super Duty trucks, for the record, for the last 10 years have been $60,000, $70,000, thousand dollar $80,000 vehicles. I don't disagree. The $90,000 truck, for sure, has gotten more expensive. Look at this. Look, I got tall. I mean, it just doesn't end, man. Yeah, it doesn't end. What's that right there, right? Take it to, take it to the car show. Yeah, isn't it going to just be delightful? You got bird crap all over it, dog crap all over I mean, you know, can you, can't make this stuff up. But here's the thing. When you start looking at what the, uh, the technology I mean, you just start looking at what's in these vehicles and how much technology is in these vehicles and the diesel motor. I mean, I get it. I mean, I get it. I might hear disagreeing people saying these things have gotten too expensive. Um, yeah, in some ways, it's been unbelievable. But this is something that, do you believe that this truck will last 100, 200,000 miles? I mean, sincerely. I mean, and that's the thing. Anymore, these trucks, if you maintain this truck here, is this thing around 10 years from now? Absolutely, it will be. Is this thing around 20 years from now? 
if you maintain and take care of it, you will. So, I mean, if you're the real person that actually buys something and keeps it, I can't, I mean, in all sincereness, it's an investment. And it's not going to get, it's not going to be like 10 years from now, this truck's worth 10 grand. And that's the whole thing about in today's world, uh, you know as well as I do, you go car shopping anymore. And a car is 10 years old. I mean, look at me. I'm buying 10 year old cars here in my own shop. You know, here's a Corvette that I just paid 64 grand for. So it, it isn't like the, it used to be so many years ago, a 10 year old car didn't have much value. Here's a 10 year old Camaro Z28 that I paid 60 grand for. So, is that, you know, so as far as everybody griping about the price of cars, well, you should think to yourself too, though, that in the long run, the higher priced cars. Well, then, for the most part, keep your used car always at respectable value. I mean, so the Ram TRX, I bought that truck used. I paid for that truck used, but probably the guy that bought it new uh, paid just a little bit more than what I paid. And But sincerely, do you think this Ram TRX truck is going to be a $10,000 truck, $20,000 truck down the road? Yeah, there's no way. There's just no way. I mean, because you can part the things out and make more money just parting them out. So, to me, that's always going to be a fifty, sixty thousand dollar truck, even years down the road. And so, and I know for people who don't have the incomes to buy this stuff, yeah, here's the sad news: I don't think you're going to be buying Ram T Rex for twenty five, thirty grand anytime soon. Um, it's always going to be, I'm sure, a fifty, sixty thousand dollar truck as even time goes on. And then you got to weigh your option: you just buy something else. Just like yesterday. It was a really nice F-250 Tremor Lariat, um, which was that real pretty um, blue, kind of like my power boost that I had. And, and part of me is like, why don't we just buy that? I mean, I was like, why don't we just buy, and it had the high output motor. And in all reality, they would have discounted it. It would have been the same price as this. But I thought to myself, man, this here, Kirby, the sales manager there, general, I should say he's the used car manager, um, you know, he went out of his way to really make this thing special. And if you stop and think about what he did do it, to me, try to do this, the brand new truck, I mean, you're going to be, it's going to be 10 grand. I mean, I'm sorry. The tires and wheels themselves are worth just a very conservative number, close to a thousand dollars. I'm sure those wheels are three, four dollars each. That'd be my guess. Tires, those are probably 400, 500 bucks each. So, and then the suspension, the lift kit. I mean, and somebody else did the work. Uh, he tinted all the windows out. You know, so I mean, very conservative number. He's at seven, eight grand. Very conservative, just the tires and wheels and suspension. <clears throat> then he tinted the front windshield. I didn't know that. My daughter told me that last night. Which is like, oh, wow, that's because it's so cool. You can really ride in this truck without your sunglasses, which is really nice. So <clears throat> the window tint, he said it was like $600. And then he did the... Uh, these side, you know, vent visors, which those are really nice. Yeah, that's probably a good hundred plus bucks. But then he put this these folding tri these folding covers now. These these are like twelve hundred, fifteen hundred bucks. Yeah, so I don't have one on my over there. So he has a good ten grand in my book. He's got ten grand in this truck to make it look like it looks. So so then you go back to me buying a brand new one, and yeah, it'd be brand new. But yeah, but whatever. But here's the thing, I just paid for this truck, I can guarantee you what he paid for the truck. But in so many ways, not really, because he just put an extra 10 grand into it. There's good old Scouty. And so, uh, so anyways, just wanted to share with you before we went to car meet, the, uh, the differences in the trucks. And uh, that was kind of all about. And this truck here, I mean, it's a two-door, and this truck was like $56,000. Versus that truck there is basically a hundred thousand dollar truck. I mean, wow, yeah, wow. Am I crazy? I'm crazy. Sure, hope my channel explodes. Yeah, I need, I need help. <laughs> I, mean, I need help, man. This is too much money. I mean, sincerely, I can only hope my YouTube channel eventually just skyrockets and takes off, and uh, and just explodes, and uh, and it starts making me some money. So I can keep this stuff. Otherwise, I don't know. I have to say that you're going to start to witness the ice man going down the tubes. He's going to be in a crapper with the, with the birds. Yeah. I don't know. Let's hope for the best. Pray for a miracle. So anyways, heading to the car show. 
There's a kid waving to me around in her bathroom. She's so funny. And so uh, heading to the car show. So stay tuned for the car show adventures on the Sunday morning meet.